All right, hey guys, Jerry from Showtime Audio. Just wanted to give you the final walkthrough on Matt's beautiful Ferrari F430. So we did a full Redenzo radar laser defense system, as well as a stealth look stereo upgrade. So it doesn't look like we did anything, but obviously the sound is way better. First, we're gonna walk you through the radar laser defense system. So on the front here, we build acrylic housings. So these are what we call our canards. It's an amazing piece. It actually bolts to the grill. And this gives you the best possible defense because the, the laser head is kind of far forward, not sunk back behind the mesh. So we have three in the front. We have two RXs and then a TX dead center. So again, another acrylic housing. So we have three acrylic housings on the front. And then if you wanna, let's walk around the back. And then on the back here, we have two more. So we have this one and that one, which is two more RXs. So this system has a total of five heads. The radar antennas, both front and rear, live on a custom bracket in the bumper, behind the bumper on the front and on the back. All right, so the, the main thing on this car was to not make the car look any different. The client was really particular about it looking as stock as possible and obviously not modifying anything if we didn't have to. So for the display, we actually located it right here in the ashtray. So there's a little ashtray, that thingy right there that normally lives in that space. We built a little standoff and put the display here. So from here, you can still access all the buttons, see the display. Now, the nice thing about the Redenzo is that everything's audible. So even if you can't see it, you can hear it. It's gonna tell you if it's a radar, laser, the type of gun, um, basically everything. Now, on top of that, these cars are very loud. When the motor's right behind you, tops down, you're doing 70, 80, whatever you're doing and there's no way you're gonna be able to hear it even though it's audible. So what we like to do is we put in a LED. The actual LED is mounted on the back of the steering wheel shroud and it fires at the cluster. So basically when you under, during an attack, the entire cluster glows red, which obviously tells you that you're being hit and to look at the display, right? So I'm gonna turn it on, give it a second. You'll see when the, it comes online, bam. See how, I mean, there's no way you're missing that. If you miss that, you got bigger problems, you know? So, so this way, and every time, every time, whether this is a custom made piece. Normally the system comes with a LED for the laser, but we make a custom module that does it no matter what, whether it's an ALP, GPS connected, whether it's an attack on the laser side or the radar side. So this way, every time you're, targeted, boom, the unit lights up. And also we did a stealth audio upgrade. So the client, again, did not want it to look any different. So everything is behind the stock grills. So we have a set of Focal Flax speakers, tweeter, six and a half inch mid bass driver. We have two five inch subs versus the one sub and the passive. And then we have a three channel amplifier that lives right in here which replaced this awesomeness. And lastly, we have a modern Kenwood Exelon deck. So this is a, you know, it has the USB, it has USB auxiliary, Bluetooth, base HD radio. So everything's built in. It's got a high volt pre-out so that everything sounds amazing. And we made connectors, we show you in the video, we made plugs for everything. So we didn't cut anything. Everything is plugs that we sourced or plugs that we made because there weren't any available for this vehicle. So everything's in a harness. And again, it's really big on these cars because Ferrari is very particular about the warranty. And so by doing it this way, we make it as close to factory as possible. The only way you can tell that the car has anything done to it is obviously the stereo. He did not have the, the original stereo. So uh, we, we went with this aftermarket unit. But other than that, the car is 100% stock. Even the microphone for the Bluetooth unit lives right here in the spot of the factory microphone would have lived. So again, everything to make the car look and feel like, like as if it came that way, but perform way better. Now he has full radar laser defense. He has a, a full, an actual stereo that sounds good. We'll show you the original speakers and the subs and why it just was brutal. Um, 
on a car like this, you have to have a high performance stereo because you have a high performance engine. And if you're, do if you're actually driving the car, you need the volume in order to be able to hear it when you're on the highway cruising along with this giant motor behind you. All right, so we get a lot of questions on the acrylic housings. What are they? What do they do? Why, why do we do them? How, you know, are they all the same? And so we just wanna talk about that real quick. So the acrylic housing, is a basically this is an ir acrylic so what that is is it allows the light from the led head to both enter and exit now the acrylic does lower the performance slightly but it's not enough to to matter the reason people want to do the acrylic housings is to make them look more as if they came with the car and one of the things that we do is we always try to follow the cues of the car so if you look at this shape it is this shape upside down. So see this shape? It's that shape upside down and obviously smaller. But we're always trying to follow the lines of the vehicle and still keep the functionality. These in particular, we call them like canards. Canards are like what they use on like race cars and things. Um, and the reason we do them is because the grill is pitched really far this way. And if you mount the, the laser head like this, it, it's wrong. It needs to be perfectly straight so that you get the best possible uh, defense, right? So by doing this, we're able to put the sensor, number one, put it out here, and number two, we're able to get that, that so that they're perfectly parallel with each other. And again, getting the best possible performance. So for us, function is first, right? So it has to work first, look pretty second. Um, we, I hate seeing things that look pretty, but don't work. So it doesn't matter, right? The, the number one thing is always the performance and then the function. And then after that, we, we can make it look as if it came with the vehicle. So perfect example is here on the rear. So as you can see, we're following the factory body line, right? So we're following the body line, trying to blend the head in. So people are like, okay, this is bigger. It's bigger obviously than just the laser head itself, but because it follows it and has this shape that mimics if again if you look at this shape it is this shape upside down so again we're trying to follow the lines of the vehicle and now it looks like a design element it doesn't look like a housing or something it looks like oh that's a piece of trim that they offered in this model other than that you'd never know that this vehicle had radar laser defense the other thing that's nice about the acrylic housings is it, and you can't see it here but we put the pitch into the housing. That pitch makes sure that the sensors are perpendicular to the road so that they're basically, they're straight this way, you know, to each other, and then they're straight this way to the floor. So we want them as level as possible and as parallel as possible. Visit our website at showtimeaudiochicago.com.